All right, so you've noticed that now you need to divide a decimal by a decimal. How is that done? Well, guess what? It actually can't be done. You can't divide a decimal by a decimal. It just can't. That's the rules. So, what do we do? I'm going to show you how it's done. Simple. Since we can't divide a decimal by a decimal, we have a trick. We change so we can actually divide a decimal by a whole number. I'll show you how it's done. Let's do it. 62.5 divided by 0 0.5. A decimal divided by a decimal. It can't be done. So we change this decimal to a whole number. Then we can do it. Let's see. To make this a whole number, we move the point to the right once. What we do to this side, we got to do to that side. So what are we doing? We are making this a whole number so we can actually start dividing. Because we can't divide a decimal by a decimal. We can divide a decimal by a whole number, but we can't divide a decimal by a decimal. So we've made it into a whole number. Now it's becoming, it's going to become a five. Whatever we do to one side, we got to do to the other side. In mathematics, we have to always be fair. So we are fair people here. So we have to make sure whatever we do here, we got to do on this side too. So we've changed this to make it into a whole number. We move the point to the right once. We've got to do the same thing on this side and move it to the right once again. Now that we moved it, let's see what numbers we have. It became 625 and this became 5. Can we now divide these numbers? Yes, we can. And you're going to get the exactly the same result. It's just a trick to see how we can actually solve a decimal divided by a decimal. This is what we do. Okay, so now let's do it. We have 5 and 625 here. So 625 divided by 5. How many now? Simple. How many 5s going to 6? 1. How many 5s? Because there's a remainder 1 now. How many 5s into 12? We have 2, remainder 2. How many 5s go into 25? 5 goes into 25 five times. So our answer is 125. So 62.5 divided by 0 0.5 is 125. When you look at the question, look at the answer, you think, whoa, what a big difference, but that's how it is. 62.5 divided by 0 0.5, a decimal divided by a decimal, we can't actually do it, so we have this little trick. We change the decimal into a whole number, so we can now go and divide it and becomes a whole number. 62.5 becomes 625 divided by 0 0.5 becomes 5. 625 divided by 5, and there's our answer. So it's like a little cheat to get away and work out a question like that. Let's see this example here. We have 9.6 divided by 0 0.02. We look at it and we think, hey, uh, hang on, we can't actually divide a decimal by a decimal. So we use that trick over there. We've got to change it so we can divide by a whole number. So this has to change. To make it a whole number, we have to move and make it a whole number and we have to jump twice this time. The point has to move twice. So now it becomes a 2. We move it, it becomes a 2. Now it's a whole number. Whatever we do to this side, we got to do to the other side. So we jump twice. We got to grab the point and jump it twice. So it will become 9, 6, and of course when we're jumping over nothing, we have to put a 0. So 960 divided by 2. So now we can actually work out the division. Let's do it quickly. So we have 960 here, and we have our 2 there. 2 into 9 goes 4 times, remainder 1. 2 into 16 goes 8 times, and 2 into 0 is 0, so 480 
is our answer. So 9.6 divided by 0 0.02 is 480, which means 0 0.02 goes into 9.6 480 times. So as you can see, it's a little trick that we've got to do. This is how we divide decimals by decimals.